Neurosarcoidosis is inflammation of the central nervous system. So basically myself it has attacked my optic nerves, my brain and my spinal cord. From my initial visit to the doctors, February 2002, by June 2006 I had lost sight in both my eyes. So it was pretty much a four year period. It started Christmas of 2001, it was like a, a dull ache behind my eye. February 2002, I was down on the farm cutting firewood and I got up to wipe the sweat out of my eye, my right eye that is, and I said to my brother, do I have anything in my left eye? And he goes, no, and I says, I can't see anything out of my left eye. It's affected me uh, socially, it's affected me professionally, physically, and you can also say it has mentally affected me. The swim itself is, I've always challenged myself. Ever since I've lost my mobility, I've set myself little challenges. So the swim is another little challenge. It helps me provide a bit of normality in my life. Um, and the other aspect of the swim is the fundraising that I'm doing for the Neurological Foundation of New Zealand. The swim that I've chosen to do is the Banana Boat Series, which is the Ocean Swim Series, and it's the Harbour Bridge Swim. Swimming itself is great for fitness. It helps tone up your body, and, and it's great for your joints because it's low impact. Not, not like running on the road and pounding your knees. I think without physical activity, your mental fitness is, is not there. It's definitely mental toughness. I, I've, I've met two types of people ever since I've had this condition. There's those that say life goes on, which I've, hopefully that's me, and nothing changes. And those that are very negative and just sit in their house and do nothing all day, which doesn't excite me at all.